Hi, I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube, and on today's beginning cross stitch series, we're going to be showing you what a French knot is, and what a colonial knot is, and what the difference is, and how you can add them to your cross stitch projects. And demoing today is Cheryl Cohorn. So you're going to want to start your French knots and your colonial knots after your piece is already stitched, but we're just showing you on a blank piece of Ada cloth so that you can see it easier. Okay, so French knot, and this is my method, so there may be other methods. French knot, and I do have my thread doubled, so I'm using two strands. Uh, you can use different numbers of strands of floss for bigger or smaller French knots or the number of wraps around your needle. So you bring your needle up wherever you want to make a French knot, hold it kind of tautly, and just wrap around your needle. The more wraps, the bigger your French knot will be. So I'm gonna wrap like three times, and you're gonna go down a little bit past, not down in exactly the, the hole that you came up in. Pull it taut, and I like to put my fingernail kind of on top of the knot and hold it while I pull my thread through. And doing this on camera, it's probably not going to be perfect, but I've never seen a perfect French knot. So bring your needle up. Wrap, I wrapped it three times, hold the thread taut. It's very similar, the French knot and the colonial knot are very, very similar. Hold your thread kind of tight, hold the knot in place. Pull the thread through. And one thing you can do is before you do your French knots, you could do it in the very corner of your work just to get the, the size you want before mm -hmm. you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do one more French knot. And just eyeball, put your, your needle back down very close to where it came up, but not in the exact spot. Okay, so there's three little French knots. The colonial knot is very, very similar. And which one do you use in your pieces? Both, however, I find that my French knots very often, if I do four, each of the four looks a little different. I never get two that look exactly the same. So it seems to me that I have a little more luck with a colonial knot looking the same. So really the only difference on the colonial knot, if you think about the word colonial, starting with the letter C, you're gonna make a backward C with your thread. So bring your thread up, and make a, a backwards letter C and put your needle under, so on the inside of that C, wrap the thread, hold it very tight. And you wrapped it three times? I wrapped, I think I wrapped that one twice. But okay. You just have to see what size you want it. And to me, my colonial knot usually looks a little more round. I don't know if it's just me. The French knot seems to look a little bit flatter. Your backward C. Backward C with your thread. Needle goes under, wrap. I just did one wrap that time. See that one? So do it you looks use a little bit? Do you rounder. do less wraps with the colonial? Well, I just did two there, and they look larger than the French knot. And I think maybe it's because I didn't pull it quite as tight. But see, it looks bigger, and it looks a little more rounded. And it may be my technique. So let's do one more colonial knot. One more colonial knot. Backward C, needle under, 
and a wrap. But you can just practice on a little piece and, and do both and see what works best for you. I pull that one a little bit tighter so it looks a little bit smaller. Mm-hmm.